Tonight in Winder, pictures show the wreckage left by a small plane that crashed moments before landing. It happened right next to the Barrow County Airport off Giles Road. CBS 46's Adam Murphy has been there all day, he joins us live now at 5. And Adam, two people were taken to the hospital after this crash. Well, good evening, Tracy. The pilot and lone passenger were taken to the hospital with, get this, non-life-threatening injuries. That crash happened right back there in the wooded area behind us, and you'll see the aircraft. You can notice beyond that police tape, you'll see the tail of the aircraft, and this crash happened around 11 o'clock this morning. You get the sense that most days are peaceful along this Barrow County country road. Every once in a while, a train comes through, but other than that, pretty peaceful. It explains why Jason Carruthers decided to build a home here on Giles Road. You get a phone call that a plane crashed on your property and it's kind of surreal for a minute. Workers had just stopped clearing trees in the area when the small plane went down near their equipment Friday morning. They actually went to a job site nearby to pick up a, uh, from what I understand, pick up a bucket to do some grading uh, and some additional clearing. And uh, about 10 minutes after they left is when the plane came down. Yeah, I, I can throw a baseball to it and hit it. You know, that's, that's close. Joey Morris lives across the street from the crash site. He's lived here for 10 years and said he's been expecting this for a while. They'll come over and they're real low. And sometimes they'll spit and sputter and I'm like, one day they're going to hit. They'll start like the engine's cutting out. Toop, 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 and it's like, oh man. And while it was a disturbing day to say the least, there is still peace in knowing that everyone survived. A thousand feet in multiple directions and it could have come down on a house and been a lot different outcome as well. And right now an investigator with the FAA is out here looking at the crash scene right now. The names of those on board the aircraft have not been released, but we are told they are going to survive. It's quite the miracle that no one was more seriously injured in this area. We're live in Barrow County tonight. Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News. Quite a story.